So, it looks like Schoolface John responded back to Knox Hill on the Not Like Us beat with the Not Like Us and such. So, hey, I'll, look, what's good, Humble Squad? It's your boy, Humble Ziggy. We back here with another reaction. Hold on, let me make sure I put my phone on vibrate and unlock that door so that way no parents of mine gonna interrupt me trying to see hey it's crazy that we, bro who would have think in 2024 will be having these youtube beef youtube rap beefs now and such because then it, it used to be like from what years ago it's been over years years since we've seen like two youtube rappers beefing with one another and such or dissing at one another in songs so hey the fact is based on this if you haven't go check out my previous reactions and such I know I probably reacted it in the wrong order but either way but either way make sure to go check it out but looks like like you like I said Screwface John responded to the one that Knox Hill said so hey enough talking enough chatting we're gonna head straight right into this make sure you like comment and subscribe follow me on all my socials up there and without further ado let's get to this in. so if you would like if you would like this you can run up on me with this energy for my next fight a few moments later Organized boxing is just something I'm not going to do. I'm a YouTuber and a musician. I'm not a boxer. I wish other people would take that into consideration too. But hey, it is what it is, Stevie, bro. I'm going to make sure that we could get home safe. Organized boxing is something that I'm just not going to okay, do. Okay, so, so that was the first. So that was basically what Knox Hill previewed and such. But apparently, this is what he actually put in such. I'm going to make sure that we could get home safe. Organized boxing and such. So this was actually so what he actually said with no edits and such. Something that I'm just not gonna do. It takes too much commitment. I respect the craft too much. The same reason I never produced, right? I just respect the craft too much, right? And I don't have the commitment to do that. But if you just want to squabble, if you just want to run a fade because you don't like what I said, it is what it is. I'll never turn that down either. I'll never turn that down either. Okay. Um, let me show you what we're gonna do. Fuck it, let's compete, ho, weak, ho. You was hyping boss and best up here, bro. Mm. The president of my television talks, no one knows who you are. Hmm. And it's crazy. Okay, so, because with Ben Shapiro, he's most likely known for, like, the whole ju Basically, the whole politics type of stuff and such. And look, I ain't into all them politics, so. That ain't my lane and such, but yeah, it's crazy that Ben Shapiro came in with a rap, came into rapping with Tom McDonald, but then again, screw again, is playing that white race card and all that. Maybe he is, maybe he isn't. What are you doing? Let me show you what we're doing. Fuck it, let's go beat ho, beat ho. You was hyping about some best up here, bro. You going to prison in my television talks, no one knows who you are. I can't do this. Again, the lyrics, whoosh. What? Very sort of like Eminem style esque. But basically, the content revolved around Ahmad Arbery. And it was used as a bar. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Nah, no one except his apology. I don't give a fuck what you, I don't give a fuck you want to culture, a cult, cultural appropriate, then disrespect black men that died. You think disrespect Ahmad Arbery is funny? But it, uh, yeah, this, so this was from 2020, so yeah, I see it. Look, I did not know about all of that shit, so. I just became hip to Knox Hill about what? Last year and such, so I did not know about certain things that he do. Hey, it's a good thing. That's the thing when it comes to these diss tracks. Not just for YouTube raps and all, just rap beefs in general when it comes to culture. When they do their research on certain shit, boy oh boy does this ever 
open your eyes or open your ears up to a lot to a lot of stuff that you never even know about with the two who's beefing with one another so hold up but basically the content revolved around Ahmad Arbery and it was used as a bar you end up like the next AA Ahmad Arbery oh but what was that song from Wait, there was nobody black? No one. Wait a minute. You said no one black on his channel? If I'm not mistaken, didn't he just react to the game? Pretty sure he just reacted to the game. And to Kendrick. And Drake. Even though Drake is half black. But still he's black. But pretty. And Rick Ross. So. Really you can't say. And pussy. I don't, maybe, I don't know. Got that you react to rap, but that shit got me crying when there's no one black on your channel for fucking weeks at a time. I'm really speaking my mind. You thought that was either you lying. M should call you cocktail. You ride his meat all the time. I swear to God that you ain't write that fucking bar about a mod. Fuck your donations. We don't want your blood money, dog. Trying to do gun bars, but that's a gun bar you toss. Says a lot that you ain't noticed when you wrote it. It was wrong. See, with all the critique, I think the biggest... You can really tell he means it because the slow music... You're gonna end up like Aubrey, this cornball. Realization point for me is when I stepped back and I thought about being a mod's mom. And if I heard that line, they would not appreciate the fact that their son, who was taken way too soon, who was taken away from them, is now being used as a punchline in a rap song. No slander, right? It's about how you pander, you weak fraud, weak song. What the fuck that shit in? Steve Jobs, how you gonna talk about my mama and tax dollars while you robbing from a culture that you're really not a part of? I'm sorry, officer. Okay, school. Look, I am reacting to a musical. Let me be. I am reacting. Stop it! I'm reacting. I'm reacting. You see why I think this, right? If y'all was, I don't mind if y'all skipped like 10 seconds ahead. I don't mind, cuz, god damn it. If y'all tell them I'm reacting, I'm reacting. Anyway. Back to this. Who was taken away from them is now being used as a punchline in a rap song. No slander, right? It's about how you pander, you weak fraud, weak song. What the fuck that shit in? Steve Jobs, how you gonna talk about my mama and tax dollars while you robbing from a culture that you really not a part of? I'm yeah, like, bro. To me, right there, that part, robbing tax dollars and his mama, when you're talking about a culture. Look, to be honest, at that particular part, this is just me. And hey, if y'all agree with me, cool. If y'all don't, it is what it is. But. You cannot, I, look, you cannot compare the tax dollars and what your mama did or what not to the hip hop culture. That is two different things. Honest to God, that's just my opinion. That is two different things. Because the hip hop, the hip hop and such, the culture of hip hop and all such, does, has nothing to do with steal from tax evasion. Has nothing to do with stealing from tax dollars. Nothing. I may not be getting the bar controlly, but maybe y'all agree with me, maybe y'all don't. Let me know. How you gonna talk about my mama and tax dollars while you robbing from a culture that you really not a part of? I'm sorry, officer, now that I swear she'll obey the law, but this isn't a rapper for his mama crime, so you culturally lost. You see, sometimes people in this culture have it hard. I can bring up color laws, but I don't need to go that far. Against the odds, sometimes you go against the law, cause shit gets dark. But when you call play a culture, you won't understand that part. You don't understand our struggle, you don't understand our heart, you don't understand our pain, and you don't understand our art. How come everybody say the same shit that y'all quoting other rappers? This is what the fuck is going on. What? Awkward in your songs. There's some shit you put in law. Let's go back to doing pawns. How the hell is you gonna call me sus? 
I sung a song or a cut that was wrong when you probably wear a dog. Okay, now, come on now. That was mostly for. I've seen, I saw that video, I reacted to that video. Come on now, dude. He was, that was just for a music video. I don't, to me, I don't count that. But I guess school is gonna still be on that angle with the whole culture virtual thing and such. And look, I get it, it's a good angle, but if nine times that, but the thing is, from when school is always doing it, it's always that same angle, especially when it's a right rapper he's beefing with. Like, all I'm saying is this: not every, even if it's you, even if you're a white rapper, this is how I look at it. Now, yes, I always get it. Hip hop was mostly created by black people, right? From this, from 1973 to right now, hip hop was predominantly mostly black, right? But the thing is, we've the way how hip hop has evolved over the years, every single year, you understand why it's called hip hop, meaning that who's more who's more popular now and such. This is just how I look at it. Meaning that is it always gonna be is your you always gonna see more black people and such and that's cool. I'm not mad at that. But at the same time, you do realize that majority of the people who buy hip hop is what white people, and I get it. But at the same time, so you, to me, it's basically like like Dr. Dre said when it comes to Eminem, he didn't care about what the color of his skin was and such, as long as he got the the charisma, the talent and such, he got it. So and plus. He want to stock up. He was saying about how we, you, that we, he don't understand the culture. He don't understand the struggle. This and that and the third. How would you know school? How would you know about what his school, his struggles be and such, right? You never. We don't know. You could. We don't know. You might. You might tell us about your struggle, but the thing is, you don't know about it. You don't know about his struggle. So you never know if he he had to grind from the. He was down in his luck and now where he's at now. You don't know that, so to say that to me to say that you don't that he don't understand about struggle and such kinda weird on just on my part. But I digress. You don't understand our struggle, you don't understand our heart, you don't understand our pain, and you don't understand our all. How come everybody say the same shit as y'all quoting other rappers? This is what the fuck is going on. You always sound so fucking awkward in your song Just some shit you put in law Let's go back to doing pawns How the hell is you gonna call me such on your song Or a cut that was wrong When you probably were a dog What the fuck I'm getting hit up by your mom Fucking ex is called your ass a colonizer And they say some lies I know you don't fuck with him like that But I produce But I produce most of that shit That colonizer I be down to hear some beats Hold up Hold up a second What the fuck I'm getting hit up by your mom Fucking ex is called your Oh, hold up a second. Who the mo? Who you moling? Who's the mo? Call your ass a colonizer, goddamn. He getting draped. <laughs> what the hell? Whoever this, whoever that person is, in. Who the troll? Who the mole in that camp? Oh, that's a colonizer, and they say some laughing faces. Fuck you. Talking about rappers, American roots. It's black roots. That's Jamaican and African too. If you. Hey, and I what? Hey. Good point right there. Hey, that's a good rebuttal right there too. Because he was saying about how it's American roots and such. But. People be. But y'all about. Y'all for. Y'all for forget. Yes, it was from hip, it was from American and such, but really look at the people who, who started it and such. Look at their background. There was African and Jamaican. Henceforth, why I, me as a Jamaican, like it. So, he's not, that's a good rebuttal right there. He's not wrong there, so hey. That was a good rebuttal. How the hell is you gonna call me such on your song or a cut? That was wrong when you probably wearing a dog. What the fuck? I'm getting hit up by your mom.
fucking exes called your ass a colonizer And they say some life and face and fuck you Talking about rap is American roots, it's black roots That's what making an African too If you track every nigga that diss me, shit is all They literally hit the booth and make the same song Same lies, same diss, the same narrative They all guess when you copy your papers You get the same questions, wrong differences When I made that skit by Melly Mel I was joking, you this bad and you was serious as hell Matter of fact, when some of this is M, you react Like look at me, Marshall, I promise I got your back Took another nigga's diss as a personal attack You quit soccer, but you keep juggling balls Red flag, apologize to who you Saying took another nigga's diss as a personal attack I mean, but hold on here, let me go back and search He was sent right here, where, hold on if you track every nigga that diss me, shit is all They literally hit the booth and make the same song, song. Same lies, same diss, the same narrative they all That part right there He saying about same lies, same disses, same narrative they on I mean, screw you are on this Kinda contradicting yourself right there Cause if I'm not mistaken The same shit that you was on with Up church and such like years ago Is the same shit that you on currently? Hell, you even did it with Mari. In such, where in at one point of it, in such, you was talking about the racist shit and such. Like you kind of doing the same shit that you're doing now, school to me. But. Is all. They literally hit the booth and make the same song Same lies, same diss, the same narrative They all guess when you copy your papers You get the same questions, mm, wrong differences guess. When I made that skit by Melly Mel I was joking, you this bad and you was serious as hell Matter of fact, when some of this is M, you react Like look at me, Marshall, I promise I got your back mm. Took another nigga's diss as a personal attack You quit soccer, but you keep juggling balls Red, Red flag, apologize to who you had a screw And think you got stuff, just like a colonizer Trying to lie to get us caught up For real, that shit feels it when they lie to get us locked up You really proving Everything I'm saying when you talk, bruh Now let me really help you I ain't frontin' on you, nigga But that sounds weird when you say you huntin' for a nigga Benzino didn't diss you, but you dissin' for your leader If I got- Hold on, hold on, hold on, what? Sounds weird when you say you huntin' for a nigga Benzino didn't diss you, but you dissin' for- Benzino didn't diss you, but you dissed him for your leader I mean, you know, hey Really think about it It is, it is kinda crazy that Even, even though that Benzino didn't diss him at the start of the whole, at the start of it this year and such. Kinda is, I don't wanna say it's, it is a fact, all I'm gonna say is this, it is a, that is a fact, like, you did instantly start to diss Benzino when he didn't even, he wasn't even sending direct shots at you, it was at M. But then again, does it, but I get it. But it is what it is. For your leader, if I got fake features and bitch you a fake beaver, how you acting like I'm weaker when you know my shit is fever? Only one of us is pay the other one for a feature. We don't really wanna hear. Noxie, are you paying for features? Hold up. When you know my what? shit is fever, only one of us is pay the other one for a feature. We don't really. What are you talking about? Who you pay, Noxie? You know, there was one artist who even said, you know, you're a white dude commenting on this and my people are out here getting killed. And see, I didn't even think like that. Duh. That's the whole point. Man, this NF angle that you kicking shit in L. Bitch is blatant what you doing and it's cringier than hell. Took his style, took his vibe like we really wouldn't tell. But this dodo even took his logo as well. Oh. Now that I'm looking at it, it does, in a way, kind of looks like Knox Hill. I mean, does kind of look like NF's logo. But I mean, you can say the exact same thing for Screw. Well, I'm not saying you can't say the exact same thing for Screw's logo, but to each his own. But I don't. His style took his vibe like we really wouldn't tell, but this dodo even took his logo as well. well. Oh, it feels like you're getting bars from your man, but you gotta understand that they're not really your man's. I'm about to give him beats like his heart in his hand. Mm. You're such a corny rapper. Kalima, Kalima, head ass. <laughs> Damn, that they're not really your Thanks. mans I'm about to give a beat like he's hard in his hand You such a corny rapper that is part of your brand nice. I don't talk about nothing, think you talking Cause he literally made a song about it, damn 
and it's hard in his head. It's crazy that I didn't even reacted to that song yet, or I didn't even react to that song. So crazy. <laughs> Ain't you such a corny rapper that is part of your brand? I don't talk about nothing, think you talking about yourself. Maybe I should monetize and weaponize mental health. Maybe I can make a song about depression that'll sell. And I offer no solution, just more pity for myself. Hypocrite, you wanna know what hypocrite is? This is me for remixes, why you remixing this? A reactor try to. But hold on, hold on, hold on. You wanna know what hypocrite is? This is me for. This is me for remixes while you re remixing this. But screw, ain't you, didn't you do the exact same thing too, though? Like, I'm not crazy, right? Didn't screw literally do it too? I'm just saying. Remix is why you remixing this. A reactor try to act like I ain't like white people. Most I know are nice people. You just like white people. What the fuck you rapping for? Nigga ass nigga got your second pants with your ass hanging out the back. Hanging out. Ain't no way. Come on now, really? You gonna ex... I, I, and the crazy thing is, I saw No Life Lack, No Life Lack, what the fuck? No Life Shacks, like, title and such about how school exposed him and such. Is this the exposure part right here? Hold on. What the fuck you rapping for? Nigga ass nigga got your second pants with your ass hanging out the back, hanging out in front of liquor store selling crack. Damn, this is 100% true for like 80% of the black niggas. <laughs> they not taking care of their kids, they selling drugs, they got a crazy ass baby mama, they own child support. They can't keep a job. That's the same motherfucker that's gonna diss his own people to justify white saying nigga boy is lethal. You don't know. I mean, it's not about if he, to me, alright, look. This is how I look at it. To me, crazy that he was saying the N word, right? I remember that when watching somebody else talking about it, right? But I'm now. The yeah, 80%, I don't know if that's true, but come on now. Is he wrong? Was he wrong, though? And look, screw, you know damn well, school, you cannot look. At the end of the day, to me, I don't care if you're black, I don't care if you're white. The point is, if you ain't, nine times out of ten, these shits be true. And if I'm this, and if you're saying that I'm dissing on my own color people, how is it dissing if nine times out of ten it be true? It literally be true. Some of them do be selling drugs, got a crazy ass baby mama. I mean, hell. Not to say most of what the hip hop culture is. That's mostly what black culture is nine times. The ghetto parts. There'll be black excellence for sure. But let's be honest, there be some ghetto parts in the culture. They got a crazy ass baby mama, they own child support, they can't keep a job. That's the same motherfucker that's gonna diss his own people to justify white saying nigga boy is lethal. You don't already show your colors, that's why we don't fucking trust it. That boy lying if he say that he on fire, he a brother, a panda, a night hugger that damages his own brothers that made it about to have kids for payment. We're not gumbo back to knots. If you play play, man down, AK, or off a KH with a motherfucking HK. Flash out, find him in the DMV and crash out. Boy, that voice you making when you rap makes us laugh loud. <laughs> it's like they're not like us, they're not like us, they're not like us. Bum! They're not like us. Really? Why am I sus? Look at you, bruh. Is that girl 18? What the fuck that even mean? Oh, I see you just try to do that Kendrick Drake thing. But you lie and tell her fables because there's nowhere else to brace you. Such a call at night that you try to appropriate an angle. So for that, I'm getting angered. I'll string you up from a cable. I can shank you, but I thank you for letting me watch you strangle. Your opinions ain't real. And for real, you just fucking mangle. And you sound like the police on your song, Officer Dangle. Yeah. <laughs> And don't worry, the real ones see what y'all trying to do. See these narratives y'all trying to spin. We got people who break down music, who don't even understand lyrics. I said, if if you remove Eminem and you remove NF, who are you? And they really looked at the camera and said, I diss Eminem and NF. Nah, well, nah boy. Really. I said, you ain't got nothing to stand on because you ain't your own man without them. Mm -hmm. This ain't 2019 no more. Y'all can't keep spinning these weird narratives because we in a little niche. Nah, real niggas in the chat now. <laughs> It ain't about black or white, it's just about wrong and right. I mean, hey, look. All I'm gonna say is, he was really coming spicy with this diss track. Cause the first one, 
let's be honest when he did his euphoria remix one it was mostly him flex most of it was mostly him flexing his rapping ability and we're not denying that right he was mostly flexing his rapping ability and there were a few little diss here and there at Knox. Right? But this one definitely came on pause. No diddy. Definitely was aiming at Knox Hill and such. Now, hey, y'all let me know what y'all think. Was this a good diss? Was, cause to me, there were some good rebuttals. There were some good shots right there, good wordplay and such, so hey. It is what it is. But y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. Been your boy home with Ziggy signing out. And sorry for sorry for that little interruption from my parent for my dad specifically. But with that being said, you let me, let me know what you thought about this down in the comments below. Been your boy home with Ziggy signing out. Stay positive, keep the vibes up. I'm out.